Mechanism of Labor Basic Obstetric Terminology Before we discuss the mechanism of labor, we shall briefly discuss about the basic obstetric terminology which would help us in understanding the baby's position in relationship with the maternal pelvis. Fetal lie Fetal lie can be described as the relationship of the cephalocaudal axis or long axis or spinal column of fetus to the long axis of centralized uterus or maternal spine. Fetal lie can be of three types, longitudinal, transverse and oblique. Longitudinal lie with cephalic presentation. The fetal lie can be described as longitudinal when the maternal and fetal long axes are parallel to each other. The fetus can be longitudinal lie either in cephalic position or in breech position. Transverse lie The fetal lie can be described as transverse when the maternal and fetal long axes are perpendicular to each other. Oblique lie the fetal lie can be described as oblique when the maternal and fetal long axes cross each other obliquely or at an angle of 45 degrees. The oblique lie is usually unstable and becomes either longitudinal or transverse during the course of labor. Fetal Presentation Fetal presentation can be described as the fetal body part which occupies the lower pole of the uterus and thereby enters the pelvic passage first. Fetal presentation is determined by fetal lie and may be of three types cephalic, podalic or shoulder. Different types of cephalic presentation Depending on the part of fetal head which presents first in the birth canal Cephalic presentation can be of various types such as occiput or vertex presentation, brow presentation, face presentation, sinciput presentation, etc. The different parts of fetal head which may appear first at the birth canal depends on the degree of flexion of the fetal head. Different types of breech position in breech presentation, the fetus lies longitudinally with the buttocks presenting in the lower pole of the uterus. The different types of breech presentations are as follows. Frank breech. Buttocks present first with flexed hips and legs are extended on the abdomen. Complete breech. The buttocks present first with flexed hips and flexed knees. Feet are not below the buttocks. Footling breech. One or both feet present at the birth canal as both hips and knees in extended position. Shoulder presentation. Transverse lie is an abnormal fetal presentation in which the fetus lies transversely with the shoulders presenting in the lower pole of the uterus. In this presentation, long axis of the fetus is perpendicular to the maternal spine. As a result, the presenting part becomes the fetal shoulder. The denominator is the fetal scapula. Depending on whether the position of fetal scapula is anterior, posterior, superior or inferior, the following positions are possible. Dorso anterior position. This is the most common position where the fetal scapula lies anteriorly. Dorso posterior position. In this position, the fetal scapula lies posteriorly. Dorso superior position. In this position, the fetal scapula is directed superiorly. Dorso inferior position. In this position, the fetal back is directed inferiorly. Depending on the position of the fetal head, the fetal position can be described as right or left. Vertex or occiput presentation. When the head is completely flexed onto chest, smallest diameter of the fetal head presents. In these cases, the occiput is the presenting part which can be directed anteriorly, posteriorly or laterally. This could be either directed to the left or towards the right. Occiput anterior presentation 
In cases of occipital anterior position on vaginal examination, the sagittal sutures lie in one of the oblique diameters of the pelvic inlet.